Hi, how you going? Uh, this reading vlog is a time-based reading vlog. I'm on a bit of a time crunch. It is Wednesday the 1st of February and uh, I still have two books on my January TBR that I have left to read. So the books I am reading, I am at the 50% mark in The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay and it's about four men no, not four men. Four people who break into a cabin and the cabin is occupied by two parents and their daughter, their adopted daughter, when the family in the cabin are vacationing. These four strangers break into the cabin and say, you have to make a very, very difficult decision. If you don't make it, because it is a time-based decision. If you don't make a decision right now, straight away kind of thing, you will bring about the apocalypse. And these four people that have broken into the cabin are trying are trying to stop the apocalypse from happening. And it's good so far. It is a good book. My one criticism, I, I got a sweat stash going on, I apologize. I guess you could say my one little itty bitty criticism is that this book feels long. I guess it would feel long because what these characters are going through would feel like an eternity when really it's just still only one day. We are going into the next day now. And one thing I've noticed as well, these intruders, I feel like they are in some sort of a trance. Some kind of greater entity seems to have a hold of them or something like that. It's it's a weird scenario and we still don't entirely know what is what's their what's their thing, what's their game, what's wrong with them kind of thing. I had said in a previous reading vlog and I will link it up in the video and in the description down below, I had mentioned that some of the characters went off in a bit of a, a tangent to what was happening and those tangents kind of give you a bit of a backstory into them and I felt like it kind of took me out of the story a little bit. And once I got in got it into my head that that's part of the the back story kind of like a recounting of their life because we don't know if they're gonna die so i guess you could say it's kind of like recounting their life and the troubles and the there are the life experiences their journey so far so once i got that into my head i it didn't bother me that much anymore the second one is this big bitch of a comic book the walking dead compendium for it is the last one i'm up to this part that's where I am right now. I'm not even halfway, but I'm getting close. Uh, this one is getting really, it's really good as well. It's quite intense there. They are in the middle of a big battle. I'm in the Whisperer, the Whisperer War Act or part arc. It's an arc in this comic book series. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. it talks about survival and what it means to be good and bad and yeah people just wanting to survive people having their own ideas on how they can survive i'm putting this down this is bloody heavy and people thinking that their idea of how to survive is right and people just people doing what people do best which is just creating chaos but it does show a really good side to humanity to try and live a better life than what is surrounding them the things surrounding them are tearing them down because they don't like the way that someone else lives and I'm gonna stop talking now because I really do have to get these two books done so I'm gonna get a crack on with that right now and give you an update when I've made significant progress in either book update time it has been a couple of hours now where's my phone it is like 10 06 can you focus please 1006 rpm uh, and i have definitely made a good deal of progress and i'm happy about that i am at the 72 percent mark in the cabin at the end of the world nearly at the three quarter mark and oh my something terribly sad has just happened it's sad it really really truly is just oh my god it just surprised me because anything that's bad any whenever there's kind of like an action scene or whenever something bad's going to happen it's so fast paced and it kind of takes you like a minute 
to think, holy crap, did this just happen? What just happened? And like, it takes your brain like a minute to really think about it. That's sad. It's really, really sad, but yet they still have to make a decision. It's, oh man, it's so messed up. I'm now, I would say halfway into this big, heavy, heavy, heavy comic book. And I'm going to put it down because I swear it just keeps getting heavier by the hour. That one's getting really good too. And it's reading fast because some pages will have panels of just um, a scene and there will just be no words like no commentary or narration about something, no characters talking to each other. It'll just be pictures like panels of a scene that is happening. I'm noticing that the last three books I've read, which is these two that I'm talking to you about, which is what this reading vlog is about, and also The Drift by CJ Tudor, all three of them have like a survival element, like the psychology of people and what they would do in a situation, like surviving. Like, how would they survive? What would they do? Their morals, would your morals change? And all that kind of stuff. It's a bit of a theme happening with my reading this month. Like, even though this is time-based, I can extend this a little bit into the early morning hours of Thursday. I don't consider Thursday to start until I see sunlight. So it'll be one in the morning and it'll be Thursday. But I won't think it's Thursday until I see sunlight even though it's Thursday in the early hours of the morning of 1pm and it's still dark outside. I am, I'm just determined to get these done and get them done as soon as possible. I'll come back to you when I finish them. Hopefully, hopefully when I finish them, I will come back. At least when I finished one book. Let's make it when I finish one book. Um, the Cabin at the End of the World. When I finish that one, I will come back. Any background noise you hear, please, 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 please ignore it. Um, uh, yeah, look. This little nighttime reading vlog is a bit of a fail because I didn't finish the two books until yesterday. So overall this vlog was a bit of a fail but I still did finish them. I finished them yesterday. So let's start off with The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. Look I could have finished this on the day that I started this reading vlog which was a Wednesday. It just didn't happen because the previous two days I had to get up at 4.30 for a 6 o'clock start for work just to cover someone that had surgery done so I was just kind of covering their shifts for them. I thought this book was fine. It was good. I guess it's kind of realistic in the way that I don't think these characters really believe what is happening. There was one thing, one scene, one element in the book I did not. It, it shocked me. I could not believe it happened. It was so sad. I am, however, really, really excited to see the movie. The movie looks good. I don't want to say this book felt dragged out because being in a situation like this, it would feel dragged out. It would feel like you were stuck. You were trapped for eternity. So that part is, I believe, at least a little bit realistic in that aspect. I think the ending is a bit open-ended, even though I think we do kind of know what is happening or what's going to happen. Just the characters, the two husbands, being in denial over what's happening and just, is this true? Is it not? We've had injuries. Is it out? Is it us hallucinating? Is it because we're in pain? We're in shock? Yeah, I just, I don't have too many thoughts. It was, it was good. Three stars. I severely... <laughs> my mum's shirt made me pink. <laughs> anyway, I just, if you see my face go pink, it's just my mum walking back and forth to the clothesline. Anyway, I severely, severely underestimated how long this was going to take me. It's a comic book. You would think it would not take me long. However, it's a 1,000 page comic book. It's a chunker. Oh my god, this ending. This ending. Ending. What the hell? I'm gonna put this down because it's heavy. I was like literally doing weights with it. You can lift weights with it. It's so bloody heavy. But oh my god, the ending. Oh, I finished it midnight last night. So really today kind of thing. But oh my god, I was just left broken hearted and sad and just empty because that's it now there's no more walking dead comics anymore it's actually making me really want to rewatch the show i really i love the show i stopped watching it around the whisper of war arc which i love that arc i really want to finish the show now i want to complete it i want to rewatch it all 
up until the point where I didn't watch anymore because I just needed a break. I just wasn't a fan of where they were heading. There's some itty bitty little, little um, complaints, I guess you could say, I have with this book, but nothing too drastic. And it's the fact that a lot of things, like a lot of the issues kind of felt like it was resolved a little bit too quickly. And I, in book format, I don't, like if this were like an actual novel, a book, I don't think it would really matter too much. Actually, I think it would benefit a lot if it were longer. No, what am I saying? If it were in a book format, not a comic book format, I think it would be better because I feel like it needed to be longer in the comics, but obviously that didn't happen. Because of the way comic books are formatted, I think it needed to be quick. It needed to like wrap it up. You can't leave it too long. It's not like a book. I feel like if um, The Walking Dead had have been a book, it would have been a bit better if it were to if some of the conflicts and some of the war like the wars that they go on would have made a lot more sense if it were to be dragged out a bit more it would have been a bit better if it had have been a novel and not in comic book format yeah that was about it i loved it it's so good so good four stars so thank you for watching thank you very much um yeah yeah it was kind of kind of a fail while also being a bit of a success i kind i think i started the reading vlog at a stupid time especially considering i had done two six o'clock shifts like two very early morning shifts i think that was kind of like my downfall for finishing the books off in the night because i know i could have but anyway that's it that's all thank you for watching and i'll see you later in the next video